course. When I was little, me and my friend Timmy went to visit a castle. Willie came too. Daddy knocked on the door, but no one answered. Oops, I think we got the wrong time. We'll come back later, let's go and have a wee play, come on. The castle's closed. We have to wait. The castle had a big, tall tower. Up there is the castle tower. Yeah, soldiers used to be up there. That tower's for soldiers, said Timmy. Timmy marched like a soldier, and I copied him. Time to march into the castle, said Daddy. A man opened the door for us. Hello, can we come into the castle? Uh, yes, please come inside, yes. Come on then. Thank you. Inside the castle, it was empty. Just walls. It smelt funny. And this is, I see the fireplace. The fire would rise and smoke would come out the chimney up there. Be careful on the steps. Timmy found a little room. It was a friendly little room with cupboards on the wall. I wonder what's in this door. I like the little friendly room. Yeah. Look, there's a wee window, right? Can we go up the tower, please? Can we go up the tower? Said Timmy. Of course, said Daddy. Timmy opens a big door. Ooh. I heard a woo. I didn't like the woo. Daddy said the woo was Timmy. It's just an echo, OK? Don't be scared. I didn't like the echo. I was frightened. I ran back to the little friendly room. Hey, Tig. New things can be scary and strange. And there's lots of new strange things in a big old castle like this. Strange smells, strange rooms, and strange sounds. Hey Tig, that woo sounded strange. That woo sounded scary. Woo! But that woo was just Timmy having fun. In a big old empty castle like this, sounds sound different because they echo. Cooey! It sounds like someone is copying me. No one's copying me. That's just my echo sound. I made it. And you can have fun making echoes too. Woo! So go for it, Tig. There's no woos behind that door, only the woos that you and Timmy make. Yes, I thought. No need to be scared. Just silly echoes. Come on. I wanted to go up the tower. Daddy opened the door into the woo room. There were no woos. So me and Sammy had fun making woos. We made lots of other echo sounds. Hello! Then Daddy took us up the tower. We went up some tiny stairs that went round and round and up and up. At the top of the stairs was the top of the tower. Timmy marched round the tower. When Timmy saw Willy, ah! he was a scaredy woo. It's only a toy spider. I like the old castle. I like funny woos. I love Willy. Sand Castle. Right, Tig, where shall we When I was little, I went to the seaside. We had buckets and spades and a picnic. Oh. Willie came too. Okay. There was sand everywhere. <laughs> Mummy and me ran down to the sea. Mummy showed me how to draw pictures in the sand. Mummy drew a mermaid. 
We gave the mermaid lots of shells and seaweed hair. Tech! Picnic time! Daddy made a picnic. We had sandwiches. Mmm! Yuck! Sand? There's not sand in your sandwiches, though. There was sand in my sandwich. Shall we go back down to the beach and see that mermaid? Come on. Come on, Tig. After the picnic, we looked at the mermaid. The mermaid was gone. Just see. She must have swam away, said Mummy. Come on, Tig. Let's go make a sandcastle. OK, it's time to build the sandcastle, said Daddy. We built a real sandcastle with our buckets and spades. We made a big hill of sand. We patted the sands and made the hill smooth. We filled our buckets with sand and emptied them all over the hill. Wow! We made windows in the castle with shells and flags with seaweed. Looks just like a mermaid's castle. Looks like a mermaid's castle, said Mummy. I love my mermaid sand castle. Willie loved it too. When it was time to go, I wanted to take my sand castle home. <laughs> no, Tig. The sand belongs on the beach. No, said Mummy. Tig. Why don't you go and get Willie? I didn't want to leave my sand castle. The sea might wash it away. I want to live with my mermaid castle forever. Hey, Tig! Whee! I know it's sad leaving things behind you like. It's glum leaving things you had so much fun making. But some things belong where they are. Sand castles belong on the sandy beach by the sea. If everyone took their sand castles away, there'd be no sand left to play for another day. A hill, a pool, a starfish, an octopus. Who knows? Swish! What magic shape? Swish! The sand will make tomorrow. Swish! But today we have... Da -da -da -da! We have your mermaid and her castle. So go for it, Tig. Wave bye-bye to your mermaid and her castle and let them go back to the sea where they belong. Yes, I thought. My mermaid and her castle belong to the sea. Bye-bye, mermaid. Bye-bye, castle. On our way back to the car, Willie and me chased Daddy. Daddy thought Willy was an octopus. It's only my toy spider, I said. Come on, Tig, come on. I loved my day at the seaside. I loved my mermaid and her castle. And I love Willy. Quiet. When I was little, my mummy took me to play with my friends. We walked through a wood to the playground. Willie came too. We get to the special clearing. The wood was quiet. The wood had trees. The trees were tall. I liked looking high up in the trees. They touched the sky. When the wind blew, the leaves swished. When the wind stopped blowing, the leaves stopped rattling. And it was very quiet. Some leaves had fallen off the trees. We walked on the leaves. Hi, hi, can you kick them? I kicked the leaves. Mummy kicked the leaves too. We kicked the leaves. It was fun. We made lots of noise. When we stopped kicking leaves, it was very quiet. On the way to see my friends, we heard a roaring noise. 
there was a waterfall. The water fell over and rushed and gushed into a river. The waterfall made so much noise, we shouted. When we left the waterfall, it was quiet. We climbed steps up a little hill. Timmy and Louise and Angel should be here soon, said Mummy. From the top of the hill, we could see a ship in the trees. We made lots of noises. Timmy! Angel and Louise! Is there anyone there? When we stopped shouting, it was very quiet. We found some planks. We will wait here, said Mummy. Timmy, Louise and Angel will be here any minute, so why don't we wait here for them? I didn't like waiting. It was quiet, very quiet. I didn't like the quiet. Hey, Tig, the quiet can be boring. And the quiet can be scary too. The quiet can make you think there's nothing there. But the quiet isn't quite as quiet as you may think. Shh! You just have to listen a little more. And when you listen, you can hear lots of friendly sounds. A bird singing. A pigeon cooing. Dog barking, woof woof. The leaves tinkling in the breeze. A twig breaking. <laughs> That's your mummy. So go for it, Tig. Have fun in the quiet and listen to all the different sounds. You might even hear Timmy and Louise before mummy does. Yes, I thought. I listened to all the different sounds. <laughs> and then I heard the sound I'd been waiting for. Mummy, I can see a Timmy, Louise and Angel. Oh, right, let's go and find them then. Hi. 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 Angel, Timmy and Louise. Hello. <laughs> we explored all the adventure play things. We made lots of noise in the woods. <laughs> There wasn't any quiet while we played. When Whirly slid down the slide, Angel's mummy got a shot. It's only a toy spider. When we walked home, it was quiet again in the wood. I like the quiet and I love Whirly. Shadows. When I was little, I didn't like the dark. Willie didn't like the dark either. So Daddy bought me my very own light. The light came in a box. A lamp. A lamp. Oh, that looks lovely, Ty. Should we go and set it up? Yeah, why don't we go and plug it in in your bedroom? See what your new lamp is Daddy like. plugged the light in. Then we turned the light on. Turn it off. On. And then off again. Box. I like the box that the light came in. Mummy said I can make something with the box. I made a puppet show. I painted inside the box. I didn't have puppets for my puppet show. When Mummy finished her work, she made me puppet birds. The birds were so sweet. She had little beaks and feather wings. The puppet birds could fly. Do you think they're friends? No, brother and sister. Oh, that's nice. At bedtime, I switched on my new light. Daddy and Mummy came to see my puppet show. Hey, little Jackie birds sitting on the wall. The puppet show was all about two birds who sat on the wall. The birds flew away and then came back. Come back, Tweety. Daddy and Mummy liked the puppet show. I snuggled down with Wooly. And all your lights will stay on until you fall asleep. Mummy left my new light on. 
Mummy left the big light on too. Then I went to sleep. That night I woke up. All the lights were off, but my very own light was on. It glowed. I felt safe. But when I looked up at the ceiling, something was new. I saw hairy monsters. I hid under the bedclothes. I peeped out. The hairy monsters were still there. I wanted to run away. Hey, Tig, things can look scary at night because things can look different. The light and the dark play tricks. You just need to look again to find out what something really is. So I wonder what those hairy monsters could be. Let's peep. There's your new light. And look. Just above the new light is your fluffy sheep mobile. And over there is... Oops! Big hairy monsters! Round and round they go, just like the sheep. Because that's what the hairy monsters are. Just the shadows of fluffy sheep. So nothing scary, just shadows. You can make shadows too, Tig. You can make your very own shadow puppet show. Go for it, Tig. No more scaries. Yes, I thought. No monsters, just shadows. I'll have fun making my own shadow puppet show. Mummy and Daddy came to see what I was doing. When they saw a big hairy monster with eight legs, Walking across the ceiling, they went... <gasps> ah! There's a little guy spider on the roof. I like my new light. What's this tag? I like making shadow puppet shows. I love Willy. The piano. When I was little, I wanted to play the piano. So Mummy took me for a piano lesson. The piano lesson was in a big music school where lots of people learned music. My piano teacher was Mr Tonka. When Mr Tonka played his piano, he played all the notes together very fast. Now, do you want to learn to play the piano? Yes, I said. So, so Mr Tonka showed me learning? all the notes. The low note. Well done. The middle note. This one? Yeah. And the high note. That one? Yeah, that one. Well done. I played all the notes together, like Mr Tonka. OK, why don't you come back next week and we can learn about the going up notes and the going down notes. Mr. Tonka. Okay. okay. See you next week. Bye. bye bye. At my next piano lesson, Mr. Tonka was in his tiny room playing one of his pianos. How are you doing? I've written some notes on a page. Mr. Tonka had written me some music dots. The music dots went up and down. Let's see if we can play a scale. Okay. Now. That. I play the notes up like the dots. That's great. Okay. I didn't want to play the notes one by one anymore. I played the notes all together like Mr. Tonka. Take Next time, Next week, say Mr. Tonka, to we'll give the, the names notes names. These notes. When I went for my piano lesson again, Mr. Tonka was very excited. Hello. Come and sit down. Look what I've been doing for you. He had pictures for the notes. An apple, a ball, a cat. See if you can play the apple note. Play me the apple notes, said Mr Tonka. I didn't want to play the apple notes. I played all the notes, like Mr Tonka. I've just got to go. Mr Tonka left. 
Dick, you have to listen to what Mr. Tonka asks you to do. I know how to do the piano. No, I said. I want to play all the notes together. I played some more, but the notes didn't sound quite right. Hey, Tig. Whee! It might be fun playing all the notes together, but some notes don't sound nice together. Some notes sound better by themselves. If you play each note by itself, you can play a tune. Half a pound of tuppenny rice, half a pound of treacle. When Mr Tonka plays the piano, it might look like he's playing all the notes, but Mr Tonka plays only the notes he needs. Mr Tonka listened to his teacher and learnt what notes to play. Go for it, Tig! Whee! Listen to Mr Tonka and learn how to play the piano. Yes, I thought. I want to learn to play the piano. So I'll listen to Mr Tonka and do what he tells me. When Mr Tonka came back, he told me how to play a tune. We played the tune together. Mr. Tonka teaching me. I like going to my piano lessons. I love Willy. Take here we are Panda. At the zoo. When I was little, my daddy took me to see the animals at the zoo. I wanted to see a panda. Right, Tig. This is where we get the safari bus. We're going to have to wait for a bit. We well, had to uh, wait for a special we'll bus back. to see the animals. Look at all the toy we waited animals. in a little shop. Do you know what, can you name there are lots of toy animals in the shop. I didn't want a toy animal. I have Willy. Let's go and see what's right then there. I saw some pandas. Wow. Daddy, can I get a panda? Can I have a toy panda, Daddy? We're going to go and see a real panda. Please, Daddy. No, Tig, said Daddy. I was grumpy. Come on, said Daddy. Here's the bus. Let's go and wait in the bus now. I think it's just coming. Yep. The bus was all stripy, but I didn't want to go in the stripy bus. I wanted a panda. I was grumpy. We saw lots of different animals. Wallabies. Pink flamingos. An African wild dog. We saw a chimp. Up and up the hill we went. We saw a cow. Tammy was excited. I was grumpy. I wanted a toy panda. When we got off the bus, we saw a tiger. We saw a panther. We saw a big lion. We saw a leopard, but Daddy didn't see. I was grumpy. I wanted a toy panda. We've got to play. We went over a wooden bridge. This is us walking through. To a little hut. Daddy didn't look at me. Daddy looked at zebras. This is just like Africa, said Daddy. Tig, it's just like the African plains. I was grumpy. Hey, Tig. It's not nice when you want something and you can't have it. It can make you feel grumpy. But hey, Tig, being grumpy can stop you enjoying what you do have. Whee! Being grumpy stops you seeing all the amazing things around you. The real animals that you've never seen before. The zebras. The flamingos. Whee! The lions, the tigers, we, and the pandas. Not toy pandas, but real pandas. So go for it, Tig. Have a look at the real pandas. And hey, Tig, if you want a cuddly toy, 
You've always got me. Yes, I thought. I don't want to be grumpy. Let's take it. Daddy, I'm sorry. I haven't got a toy panda, but I'm going to see a real panda. Should we go and see the, this where the pandas are? I like seeing the panda. The panda eats a lot of food. When the panda saw Willy, he just looked. It's only a toy spy that's salty. Then the panda went to sleep. At the shop, right. Daddy said, Do you want here. a toy panda now, Teg? No, I said. I've seen a What's real that? panda. But my ears might get cold. I want earmuffs. Can I please have panda earmuffs instead? I like the real panda. I like real animals. It's good fun, wasn't it? I love Willy. Getting better. You're not hungry. When I was little, I got ill. I didn't want any tea. And I hurt all over. What's wrong? I don't feel very well. Oh. Mummy took my temperature. Oops, you're a bit hot, Teg, said Mummy. Let's get you to bed. I didn't feel well. Hello. When Daddy came home, he came to see me. Are you OK? You OK, Tig? Just got a bit of a temperature. No, I said. I don't feel well. Wooly cuddled in beside me. I fell asleep. When I woke up next morning, Mummy looked at me in a funny way. I know what's wrong with you. You've got chicken pox. I see what's wrong with you, Tig, said Mummy. You've got chicken pox. I looked like a speckledy thing with little red spots. We'll have to get you better, said Mummy. In the day, Mummy read me lots of stories. My spots itched. Mummy put nice cool stuff all over the spots. I even had spots in my mouth. Mummy gave me lollies. Mummy made me lots of mashy meals and sloppy drinks. This one is Bernard. Bernard and <laughs> At night, Mummy gave me puppet gloves to wear so I didn't scratch. I like my puppet gloves. When Daddy came home, we played. We built things on the table. Every day my spots didn't itch quite so much. Oh, no red. Soon I was painting and drawing and doing things myself. Sometimes I felt a bit better. Sometimes I didn't. One day, Mummy said, Tig, I think you're getting a bit better. Would you like Angel round to play? Tig, would you like Angel to come and play? Yes, <gasps> And guess what? She's got chicken pox as well. Yeah. <laughs> Angel's got chicken pox too, said Mummy. I was excited. I got all my toys out for Angel to play with. I played jumping from cushion to cushion. Suddenly, I didn't feel well again. I didn't want to see Angel. The doorbell went. That'll be Angel. There's Angel. I don't want to see anybody because I don't feel very well. No, I said. I don't want to see Angel. Hey, Tig, getting better can take a long time. Sometimes you feel up, sometimes you feel down. Sometimes you feel wobbly, sometimes you feel strange. Getting better is like doing everything for the first time all over again. Whee! Like walking in the street. Or going back to school. Or seeing Angel again. But every time you do something new again, you'll feel a little bit better. So go for it, Tig. Say hi to Angel. It'll make you feel like your old self again. Yes, I thought. 
I want to be my old self again. You got spots. I want to see my friend. I want to get better. Angel and me played. When Mummy saw Willy with spots. <gasps> oh. It's only a toy spider. Oh. I like getting better. 